What is going on YouTube and welcome back to another mobile gaming video. I'm your boy Scribe and today we are talking all about the Tyrannosaurus invasion in Age of Origins. Thank you Age of Origins for sponsoring this video. Let's break this down. So what is the Tyrannosaurus invasion event? It is essentially a recurring event that happens in Age of Origins whereby out on the overworld on the world map there will be a range of mutant Tyrannosauruses that you can go out and kill. OK, and those kills will give you rewards. Now, this is an alliance based event, so you're only really going to actually be able to engage in this event if you happen to be within an alliance. It's always super important to make sure you're in, within an alliance. It gives you protection and it also lets you um, gives you access to elite mines for additional resources and all that sort of business. And you get to engage in many, many different game events. And this is just one of them. The two things that you really need to know about this event is firstly, you have to be able to coordinate with your alliance because you need to have at least two people attacking any given Tyrannosaurus at any given time. You cannot do it solo. You can't go out there and attack it alone. It just will simply fail the rally. So you need to try and arrange with your alliance, usually set a timer or something like that, the week uh, that the Tyrannosaurus evasion, invasion lasts. You'll be able to do this every single day. It's not like you have to um, get all your attacks in in one go. You've got 10 attempts in total per alliance member to get these attacks done. You don't have to do it all at every day or all at once just make sure that during that time you've arranged to team up with at least one person within your alliance in order to hit those goals okay next up you can get a maximum of 40 kills to give benefits to your guild now you can continually attack and you will be able to earn some additional rewards for actually defeating the tyrannosaurus but the most important thing is that you get this 40 reward box so let's go through the tiers here so once you've killed five, and these are cumulative, so once you hit these boxes, you'll earn each one and you'll get the rewards for each box as you go. All right. As soon as you hit it as well, you'll earn those rewards. It's not like you have to wait for the end of the event, which I quite like. So we get additional warplane components, material chests, basic supply chests, and some alliance points in honor at the five kill mark. At the 10 kill mark then, more warplane components, more material chests, more basic supplies, alliance honor and alliance points. 25 kills now doubling up on the war, war playing uh, components, more material chests, more basic supplies, alliance and honor and alliance points. And then again, finally, we get another tier of war playing components, materials, basic supplies. These numbers have got, jumped up quite a bit now and additional alliance, honor and ally, alliance points. Now, there are different levels of difficulty for the Tyrannosaurus evasion. Obviously, the lower your battle power is, the lower you'll have to do. But the idea of it is you want to try and find the happy medium of how many few um, alliance members you can go in to kill one of these Tyrannosaurus at the highest level. OK, so obviously the levels will give you better rewards, better and better rewards. But obviously the battle power consequently is much higher. You can see at the very level, uh, at the very top level, level six, this particular Tyrannosaurus has got 9.75 million battle points which is quite significant and if we then change this over one second just so we could see the comparison here the level one has only got a hundred and five thousand now you can see my battle points over here is 2.3 million i'm not massively advanced i would say i'm probably early mid game right now uh, so obviously if you've got some much bigger uh, alliance members in your alliance then you should be able to tackle something a little bit harder now me personally i could potentially nearly solo a level four tyrannosaurus but within your alliance if you're getting two or three or more you'll be able to go that step further so when either yourself or one of your alliance mates goes out and targets one of the um, tyrannosaurus on the map you can actually see it within the events page you can set up your army to go out and attack and you can join the rally now the rally i believe takes about five minutes to join and then it's whatever the distance is to the particular Tyrannosaurus. You can have, as you can see, up to five people join any given attack. And like I said, everybody has got 10 attempts and all of those attempts will be shared. So say, uh, say you've got 10 attempts and you have three people who also have 10 attempts all join the same rally. That will actually take off one attempt from each person. So you want to try and get all 10 of your attempts in in order to earn the most rewards from killing the Tyrannosauruses. But really the most important thing is trying to make sure you hit those 40 total kills across your entire alliance. All right. So what that will do is that will essentially send your rally over to your opponent's uh, or your alliance mate's base. 
as a first thing to join his rally to go ahead and attack the Tyrannosaurus. So let's go and skip ahead and just see what happens when you actually land there. So you can see my uh, rally here has joined my alliance mates here to just go and attack this level 6 Tyrannosaurus. We managed to beat the Tyrannosaurus super, super quick. And then you're able to actually go back and check out the video of it and see what the rewards are. So on the monster report here, you can see that we got some additional commander XP and a basic supply chest, which is great. We lost a little bit of power, but nothing really too significant. And then it's just a standard battle that you would normally see within the game. Now, I do recommend trying to do this at the highest level, but you really don't need to waste all your attacks. Just try and make sure you get your 10 attacks in across the week to really maximize your school. So checking out those rewards again, you'll get these each and every single time you kill a Tyrannosaurus on the map. Now, obviously the more difficult the Tyrannosaurus, the better off your rewards should be. In theory, the lower tiers will give you less rewards. Now the commander XP is quite nice. Obviously that relates to the level of your commander. The higher the level you boost your commander, the more skill points that you have, and that will be able then to disseminate through into your commander skills. Basic supply chests, these give you a small amount of resources, but being able to get around about 16 per kill really isn't so bad because you can then just translate those into additional resources for your base. Now, the other side of it is, of course, that the rewards that we actually get from hitting the various tiers, these warplane components obviously get used in your actual warplane at your base. So let's check that out real, real quick. Head over to the warplane base over here. Here within your warplane center, um, you're able to actually advance these warplanes, much like many of the other units within your uh, within your base. Now, the rewards that we receive relates to being able to uh, enhance your the weapons on your warplane. So you'd have to head over to the lab center, and this is where you get to use those warplane components, ladies and gentlemen. So you're able to increase the various tiers here. Now, this is sort of, um, I don't want to say locked, oh, apologies, it's not locked per se, but it's gated by the level of your actual warplane itself. So you can see in mine right now, I can't actually increase the level of any of my abilities until I get my warplane up to a minimum of level 12. So let's actually use whatever I've got right now. I'm only level nine. We'll do a one tap upgrade and we're going to be stuck at level 10 for the time being, which is a little bit of a shame. I would like to have been able to show you how you go about upgrading these. You can see over here, I need to be, um, I need to get to Explorer tier four, which is around the uh, sort of the evolution, as it were, similar to how you can evolve your Titans. This one is around being able to upgrade or modify your uh, warplane. Now, just one quick tip when it comes to the warplanes, you can see I've got another one over here. I don't actually recommend that you start upgrading multiple warplanes as you go through. You're only really ever going to be using one when you send out your attacks or one when you're defending your base. So I would focus primarily on upgrading one as far as you possibly can. Once you've maxed it out, then think about trying to upgrade additional warplanes. All right. And that's going to about do it really for the Tyrannosaurus invasion event. I do recommend you get in and get your attacks done. It's all super, super good. And before we go today, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to remind you all the emergency training event is currently active. You do want to jump in there and make sure you power your way through that event and earn those rewards. I do have another video guide on that. Check out that in the top right corner of the screen right now. Make sure you like and subscribe. Let me know down below. Did you get your attacks in on the Tyrannosaurus invasion event? And are you doing your emergency training? Peace out and big love.